Right, good morning. Another day on the farm begins. It is 20 to nine, which I know sounds like a uh, late start, but I've been over the other farm and done all the work there this morning before coming here. So we actually had an early start. Myself and John both started early. We're trying to get a day where we do something rather than just standing still, just doing yard work, because we're so behind on jobs. We gotta, we gotta do something. So here he is. Looks like he's rolling back the sheep. We're going to have a word with him and make a plan here. Just taking off some straw so we can roll the sheep back on the pit. And we'll use the straw to bed up the calves this morning. All right, so John's been busy. He's stacked some straw there already this morning. We're going to load up this one. He's busy loading the wagon. And we're going to go and bed up some animals. I think I'll start with the calves. We've probably got to do everything. Huh? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I've had a chat, mate. <laughs> yeah, obviously, I'll be expecting a full Britain apology from the head of sight. <laughs> Maybe the Institute, I'm not sure yet. This might be a... taken up with my, politi my local politician. This is similar to the postmaster scandal, isn't really. it? Is it? Exactly the same. In ten years' time, there'll be a dramatisation in this. Mark my words, <laughs> I might be starring in it. I can't tell you what that's about, but it's funny. Right, let's go! Now the beauty of this shed at the moment, because the carving pen isn't currently here, is that I can drive down one side and then just flip across and cut into the other side. But you do have to get it spot on with the turning. If I have not. See John's there feeding. Look in that mirror, we're missing. All good in the hood. And then we'll just continue up this side. Are you ready, cows? Press go. Straw will appear. Excuse the filthy back windows. I won't be able to finish this side, but this bear will have to get another one, but it will do most of it. All done with that machine now for the morning. And it's a good time to be a cow, because you just had a fresh bed and the feeder wagon's in the shed. You get some fresh feed as well. Run down through and let all these out a minute whilst John's here feeding. about eating straw cows come and eat some silage got the shed all lit up this morning with the lights they are pathetic the lights in this shed they are getting changed we've had electricians in to um, measure it all up so when the cows go out in the spring and the shed is empty um, they'll start coming in here and they're actually gonna put LEDs all the way through this building any building that we've got that hasn't already got LED lighting is getting led lighting it's a big change that we're making less power consumption now just look how happy they are every single one of them has come out to eat that is what you like to see i nearly walked away without shutting that indoor that'd have been bad i wouldn't have been very popular if there'd been a one ton bull wandering around the farm i've been down and bedded up those sheep we bought in last week i think it's fair to say they have never seen a tractor in their lives they went mad when I turned the straw blower on. Um, but the X-Lanas, I think they are designed to be kept outside, really. Anywho, I'm going to show you what the plan is today. We're going to be using this facility, our crush in the John Bowman semi-permanent erection. We need to get a banner made, really, with that one, just there. Um, we robbed a weigh bar off this crush yesterday to take to the other one. You might have seen in the last video, I've not even looked at the footage I got for the last video at this point so i don't know what you will have seen and what you won't have seen but basically the way bar that's in there has been robbed to try and fix the other one it didn't work but it's in the truck that is not actually on the farm at the moment so we need to get the way bar back on there and then the crush is usable to be able to run all the cows through and today and tomorrow wednesday and thursday the plan is for myself and john to get every cow on the farm up to date with all their vaccines and boluses 
and all that jibber jabber. And then on Friday, John's off, so I'm here to do the yard work. I'm going to try and get those carved away. So that's the plan. John's just doing mix for the techno cattle there in the shed. Um, I would go and fit that way bar, but it's in the truck that is not on the farm. It's in the shepherd's truck, and he's off checking sheep. So we can't do that for the minute. So here we have one way beam that fits under our crush. Now this here fits in underneath the crush that's currently propped up on these blocks. And then there's some threaded holes here in the ground that we need to attach it all to. We'll give the area a bit of a clean first. But yeah, it's got a slide in under there. And then you fix this to the ground, you fix this to this plate, and then it's like suspended on a ball bearing, which is how it works. We're not actually gonna weigh the cows, I don't think, but we can't use the crush whilst it's propped up on blocks, so we might as well put the beam back under. We know the one on the other crush is faulty, so that's gonna have to be sent off. And we've got the arrow quit back here now so we can weigh them. Tell you what, that is absolutely gorgeous, that sun. What a day. Right, now I've already played 52 socket pickup with that once this morning. I think the bolts I want are these long ones with the washers that actually attach to the floor. There should be four of those. One on there, yep, yeah, good. So those four attach to the floor. These ones then with the locking that on attach the actual way bar to the floor plate. One, two, three. Another one. Hmm. There it is. And I believe those bolts all come off the other way bar, which I've not got here. We'll take that, take those tools. We'll try and get this all put together here. Now, if I'm correct, which I'm hoping I am, it's got a lot of rubbish in there, then these should line up. We are installed. We had a bit of a problem here. The sleeve that the bolt that was here is supposed to fit into, I think it's got some debris in it. Or is split or collapsed or something. So that one didn't want to go in, so we've just put a thunderbolt in it. And it's gone that far and gone solid, so it's not in the way. It's holding the crush down, it will do its job. The rest of it there, it's all good. We haven't got the screen, we're not going to need that today. John's walked down the stick, as well as an assortment of vaccines that we're going to need. Um, he's also brought down boluses, so we've got that as well. Everything we need here to do every job, I think. What we will do today is instead of just doing them and then just trying to write it down afterwards or document it afterwards, we'll um, set up a template on AgriWeb, basically saying we're doing this, this and this to whatever animal we scan, and then scan them, and job will be a good one. So I'll do the big man as well, might as well get him out first. Look at you, mate. Van the man, some boy, isn't he? It's not bad for just hay, is it? Yeah. Oh, you Do you need everything? Now this here is a different bull. This is Varta. He's our biggest one. The unstoppable sex machine. That's what John calls him, the unstoppable sex machine. Somewhere here, he'll have a bit of flesh I can jab him with. That's what I say about those head yokes. Yes. They're rounder. Yeah. So this bull, his neck is wider than the gap behind his, well, than his head, really, isn't it? <laughs> so you trap his neck, yeah. and he can just walk backwards. He's like some sort of prop forward. Right again? We've got to try and coax him in there again. We'll to shut this door behind him. Go on, your unit. Come on, biggin. See, like there, that, <sighs> that is done up as tight as it can. If he wanted to, he could just reverse out. Well, shut that door now. It's a bit like going to the dentist, so you really don't want to, but once you're there, it actually ain't too bad. Yeah, mate, that's all we wanted. I just got to scratch the right place out. Right, he's ready. I'm getting out of the way. Here he comes. The big man. That's a fancy new tag, Varta. Very suave. Look, keen, look, keen. Keen to eat that. So there's a mixture of 
Some that have had their tails and backs clipped, they've had some vaccines. And there's others in here, like Exhibit A, they haven't had their tails and backs clipped. They've had other vaccines, or none, no, or no. some. Uh, Bravoxin, they've all had Bravoxin because we had to use some up on a group. I see. I that was chuck it away. Well. No good. The important thing is we know what they've had and we know what they need. Exactly that. Alright, so this one has a shaved tail <coughs> and back, which means it's had everything apart from lepto and a bolus. So that one's now done. Okay, that didn't have to be that difficult. Lepto and a bolus. So they're getting two of these each. Cosi Cure. All right, it's saying copper, selenium, calcium, and I cobalt. Mean. Oh no, so it must be, I must be wrong with one. No calcium. No. No calcium. Cobalt, iodine, no. copper, and selenium. Yes, I think so. All right, this one's tail is not shaved, which means. She's only had she only had Bravoxin. So she so needs the work. One of them back clips yep. that. Right. Let's crack on. These guys are all done. This cow's got sore feet, which we do know about. We're gonna go have dinner. I'm gonna use this bit of paper to make up some templates so that we can blip everything as they come through, which will make the recording process a bit easier. Hopefully this afternoon we can drash through a fair few cows. Then we're all done. You can come back out now, boy. Right. On and gone. Right, these are all of our in-car heifers. So these are getting boluses, uh, IVR and Bravoxin. So John is administering the boluses. I scan them on there. Comes up with them on here, and then we can also put in their condition score and their height, which is something that the Stabiliser Society want. Whilst John's doing the bonuses, I'll give them a couple jabs. And we're good to go. We've got some tape and some numbers on the other side, which is their height. And the condition score. And then we can repeat. That's a big heifer. Some of them I can reach. <laughs> I mean, what idiot put those <laughs> tags in the wrong way around? It'll be all right from next year because they're all tagged on this side. Big so yeah, girl. you can see what we're doing. So bolus, IBR, Bravoxin, all the batch numbers and everything on there. So it saves us having to do it later. John puts in the other bit of info he wants. So we've got, these are all the in-carved heifers. And there's two more groups of cows that need the same treatment. We've got it written down here. Some of the cows have had various things. So we, we've got it all worked out. We know what we're doing. <laughs> Look who's next. It's Paolo's mum. She's running away. Where are you going? I'm going to go fetch her now. Naughty cow. Went the wrong way, didn't you? She made me look a bit silly there. Paolo's mum. She's probably the thinnest cow on the farm. Yeah, I said so. Not the shortest. Not the shortest. Right on, girl. Ah! The old favourite. Tell you what, I'll let them out and they'll come back. Right, the heifers are done. You girls can go. Got him. Hopefully no one's changed the gates at the top because if they have, they'll be on the road. So these are now fully vaccinated. They've had IBR, BVD, leptospirosis, Bravoxin, and a Cosicure bolus. They've had their height measured for stabilizer uh, breed society, and they've had their condition score um, recorded as well. To put these guys back in their pen, 
and then we'll get out of the next pen along with is a group of cows. So this whole half of the shed are all at the same status of vaccination. So we thought we'd do this lot this afternoon because we're doing all the same thing. And then tomorrow, those are on three different states over there. They've had some of, like some of them have had Provoxin, some of them haven't, some of them have IBR, some haven't. Just because we've been plugging away at this when we've had like an hour, we've not always done the same thing. Um, which makes it a bit complicated, but as long as we know what we've done and what we haven't, that's the main thing. How about that for some bottoms? I know I've got how many views? <laughs> You've got like 85,000 views of I your mean, I'm not surprised. Yeah. That's four times as many as Abby in her jeans. <laughs> Whoa! There are some big old girls in this room. Penultimate cow. There's one left to do. Lights are on. If we had running water, this would be a holiday destination. Oh, <laughs> what's happened here? <laughs> this cow had lost her EID tag, so we had a bit of a blank one in it. One more cow, John? Yes. And then we can go over and like. So that'll be over half of the breeding herd all up to date with vaccinations today yeah come on big show last but not least oh you are big so what we've realized as we've gone through is we've got another pen that needs ibr but we have run out of ibr vaccine so we'll have to get another lot to do them we also need to get some um live vaccine this is inactive so this is effectively dead vaccine we get some live stuff to give the heifers because the way we're doing it is we give them two shots of live vaccine and then they go on to the same routine as the cows and get a dead one so we've got to get some more vaccines but hopefully we should be able to clear up the rest of it tomorrow all being well yeah. right so that's that session finished so we'll go on there say yes gives me a little uh, graph of all the condition scores and these are pen four yes far end of the dairy shed and four so we now know where all of those cows are close so then mel will know as soon as we get inside right me and the dog are just sat here waiting for the windscreen to clear on the truck and then we are off home for the night hopefully tomorrow we will finish vaccinating those cows which i'm pretty sure we will do um and then we'll be on to some other things bowman still in his shorts the absolute lunatic <laughs> it is not shorts weather confirm that anyway thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you have please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already head down to the description you can find the links for our other channel as well as our sponsors and all the other places you can find me on all the other various forms of social media and yeah we'll see you on another video very soon cheerio